Hello, it's Nicole, and welcome back. You know, as a child, I always remember gaming as a very expensive hobby. You know, we were poor then, right? We had one Nintendo Game Boy to be shared among four kids, my my siblings and I, and we only had two game cartridges that we were playing on, and we were repeating those games front to end a hundred times. And I say expensive because at a time the Game Boy operates on four AA batteries and batteries were not cheap, right? And there's no rechargeable batteries at that point in time. So we were pooling our savings together to constantly be buying batteries every time you want to game on the Game Boy. Very expensive experience. And in the last year, I've moved from console gaming, you know, from the Xbox and PlayStation to PC gaming. And I have to say that the gaming gears are hurting my wallet a lot more than buying video games itself. If you're thinking PC parts upgrades, it's more than that. There'll be headsets to get for better audio and gaming, and then there'll be times where your ears yearn to be free and you get speakers on top of that. Then there'll be keyboard and mouse for better latency. And then some games just game better on controllers, so perhaps controllers too. And at some point in time, you'll be thinking, ah, maybe let's upgrade to a wireless keyboard so that the desk looks neater and less cluttered. And that's exactly what I've been browsing lately, a 65% layout wireless keyboard. And special thanks to our friends at Tagware for sending us the B68 mechanical keyboard for our review. Now before I go any further, I want you to keep one thought at the back of your head. And that is, this keyboard is priced at 99 Singapore dollars. And because I'm going to be taking you through all the functionalities that this keyboard can do, that some brands are in fact charging up to three times the price of the B68 for the same functionalities. Now exclusively for you guys in Singapore, I have included in the description below, description of this video, a link to a $9 off voucher code to purchase the Techware B68 mechanical keyboard between now till 8th September 2021 and available for the first 50 redemptions on Lazada Singapore. My sincere apologies for not being able to extend this offer to everyone but limited geographically but perhaps one day I can. Now back to this review, this B68 is a 65% layout keyboard, 68 keys. Now before we go into the features and specifications of the B68, I wanted to share with you why the 65% layout keyboard is the one keyboard that you should have and why it's a better option than the popular 60% keyboards. Now before the 65% keyboards became more known, the trend for small keyboards were the 60%. I've got the Razer Mini Huntsman here in linear keys next to the B68. The broad difference here is really availing the arrow keys. The Mini Huntsman looks awesome, and for gaming, it was performing great. The annoyance really started to hit me when I needed to use arrow keys in games, for example in Cyberpunk, and having to press function plus J, K, L, or I was not ideal. Apart from gaming, the other thing I use the keyboard a lot is for video editing. And for that, I use Premiere Pro and arrow keys are very functional where it's used to navigate frame to frame or to move to the front or end of a footage. Having to press two keys to do the same just slows me down. I think I underestimated my reliance on arrow keys until they became non-existent. <laughs> anyway, let's hold on to that thought for a bit and move on to talk about the B68 from Techware. Out of the box, you get the keyboard, that's a given, user guide, a 1.8 meter detachable USB-C cable. This cable is braided, I really like it. There is a keycap remover included, so you can change out the keycaps. Techware do sell keycaps in different variants of keycaps, and the last thing in the box, a green keycap. It is also with this keycap you can gauge the hardiness of materials of Techware's keycap. Let's replace the escape key with this green one. Swapping out the keys is really easy. Here, you do this, and voila. See, even the escape key has the same hardness to the keycap. It just shows that the green keycap was not a marketing gimmick. This keyboard is available in black or white. It is matte black or white to be precise. And Techware has availed it in Gateron brown, yellow or black switches. So offering varied options to meet your preferences for a mechanical keyboard. 
The keys itself, without illumination, they are thinly visible in the shade of grey and the alternate function menus are in, in this beige looking light brown. I personally think they will look better if the alternate function menus are in the same shade of green as the keycap provided. I think that made quite a difference. In terms of material, the frame is plastic but it has got an alloy backplate. On the top, there is a USB-C connection and a subtle techwear logo. On the underside, it has four rubberized legs to prop up the keyboard, a power switch and a toggle for Bluetooth or USB. The elevation of the keyboard is not adjustable. So if you are someone like me who is very very used to typing on very flat keyboards, you might find yourself needing a palm rest. Earlier, we saw there is a switch to toggle between Bluetooth and USB-C. The B68 can be powered and connected via the USB-C or leverage on its Bluetooth connectivity to connect up to three paired devices and switch amongst them seamlessly. Speaking of power, you also have a 2000 mAh battery designed to let you enjoy maximum wireless usage. There is a power indicator which you can toggle on using function backspace. Next, on to my favourite topic, RGB. There are 11 RGB preset lighting modes and including options for you to custom set the RGB. So if you do look at it, the keys they do light up but the alternate function menus do not. So if you are in a dim room or a dark room and you rely on the LED lights from the keyboard to help you navigate around the keyboard, then I doubt the backlight is bright enough to light up the alternate function menus on the keys. Well, it could also be a case whereby my eyes don't read so well for small fonts like that anymore. I'm not that young, but having them lit up could work for or against the design of this keyboard. Anyway, there is a software available for the B68, so if you have that installed, you will be enabling more functionalities such as customizing per key RGB lighting and so forth. Typing experience wise, I did find the keys a bit deep to type into. Again, I think it also has to do with my day to day with very shallow keyboards. So it's just me not getting used to it. In fact, for gaming, the deeper keys in fact feels more control over the controls, if you know what I mean. Overall, my takeaways are as follows. Firstly, I like the quality of this build. It feels heavy at the base and hands give that very solid impression. This is not so in the Huntsman Mini that I have, but before I had the B68 to compare against with, I always thought the Huntsman Mini being so light makes it very very compact and I could bring it everywhere that I want to. Though in truth, I never did. The second point that made me prefer the B68 to the Huntsman Mini were the arrow keys. I need arrow keys and I have come to acknowledge that the absence of them do bother me. Thirdly, it is a wireless 65%. Have you seen how much a wireless 65% cost these days? You know like the Razer Black Widow V3 Mini, Ducky has a very popular one to SF but that's not wireless. So at 99 Singapore dollars for the B68, that's a third the price of the Razer. Which then brings me to my fourth point, the value per dollar. And in my opinion, the value per dollar for the B68 is very high. It is set at a very competitive price point without a sacrifice on its quality. I personally feel that Techware has been consistently introducing us products into the marketplace that are very reasonably priced so that the mass market can have access to gadgets with good capabilities as well. Previously, you would have seen in one of my videos that we reviewed Techware Sentinel 1080p webcam and it's 29 Singapore dollars. It is way too good for the price that it commands. Now back to the B68, the only one thing that I'm not too fond of are the keycaps. And it is a visual thing for me, nothing to do with functionality. Personally, I feel that without the RGB lights on, the keyboard actually feels cluttered to me. I think it is the symbols layout or perhaps just the colour of the alternate function menus. I can't lay a finger to specifically what, but it feels cluttered to me. With the RGB lights on, it's fine. It's only when it's not on. Or perhaps if it's in white, it would give a different feel. And that sums up what I think of this keyboard. Do let me know what you think in the comments. I think I'd love to hear from your views or if you already have one. Congratulations, you've got a good bang for buck. Otherwise, if you have skipped my earlier mention of a discount coupon code, it just means you got caught skipping through my videos. What I shared was exclusively for you in Singapore. I have included in the description below a link to a $9 off voucher code which expires on 8th September 2021 guys. And this voucher code is applicable if you like to purchase a Techware B68 from Lazada Singapore. Do note that 
8th September 2021 and is limited to the first 50 redemptions only. Hopefully I continue to lend my hands on such great products at down-to-earth prices to continuously share with you. So do subscribe to our channel and stay tuned whilst I'm going to play around with this a little bit. So take care and I'll see you in the next one.